Hi, my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger. Today we're going to work with Ziploc bags full of something, so it will be lots of fun. <laughs> we're going to exercise, Carol and I, with you, and we are so happy you're here. But before you do this or any other exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. You want to make sure that you have loose, comfortable clothing like Connie and I because you don't want to have anything Excuse that, me. <laughs> like Carol and I. <laughs> yep. Carol. I'm getting accomplished. <laughs> Carol and I have been friends for a long time. Yes, we have. You would and we've know been it. doing exercises for a long time. <laughs> and Carol is a wonderful dancer. She's Italian. She loves to read. Don't try to butter me up. Now. I really like Carol a lot. <laughs> and I'll bet you do too. Okay. Yeah, I'm Carol. So, Carol, <laughs> we have loose, comfortable clothing on. We're going to drink water before, during, and after our time together. And we're going to work at our own pace. So if Carol and I are working a little too slowly, then you can speed it up if you can do it in a safe fashion. If we're working too fast for you, take a break and join us because we'll still be here. Mm -hmm. The important thing is to listen to your body because your body will tell you when to stop, when you can speed up. But remember, the consistency of doing exercise every day or every other day with us, that's what's going to help you get strong. And the things that you do every day are going to be so much easier. So you have your doctor's okay, you have loose, comfortable clothing, and you're going to work at your own pace. So what you want to do is to do your best, your very, very best. If we're doing a move like a stretch, you don't want to bounce or you don't want to force any move. If we're reaching over here and you can only reach to here, that's fine. Or if we're reaching way over here, you don't want to force any move, just do your best. And of course, if you eat well, that will help a lot because that'll give you the energy. And if you smile, turning the corners of your mouth up, which Carol <laughs> is really good at, that helps too. You also want to check your environment. We're in a good sturdy chair. No rollers, no rockers. We're in a good sturdy chair. Mm -hmm. And we are both at the front of our chair. If this hurts your back, you can take a pillow and put it right behind you. Okay? And you want to check around the bottom to make sure there's no cords that your foot's going to trip in or little edges of the rug that when you move your foot, you don't want to get it caught in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you look all around you, make sure there's nothing that you're going to crash into. Then you're going to look around you to the sides, make sure that when we move, you won't knock a lamp off the table or a nice cat sleeping on the top of books. <laughs> and you want to look up, make sure you're not going to hit the chandelier or a hanging plant. Remember when we used to make those mac, mac, uh, macrame? Macrame. Did you ever make a macrame plant holder? Yep. Yeah. And you put the they plants put the in them? Plants in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In fact, I think they still have a few around. <laughs> That's what we used to do. We used to macrame plant holders and put plants in them. So you just want to make sure that there are none around still, okay? No chandeliers. So we've checked our environment. We checked with our doctor. We're checking in with ourselves. We're feeling great. So let me introduce you to my friend, Carol. Hi, my name is Carol, and as Mary said, I love to dance, I love to read, I love to cook, but I like to bake, but I don't do it too often because I like to eat it too. <laughs> so we're going to exercise today so we don't feel so guilty when we eat those sweets. Mary, it's up to you. Okay, so today we're working with something, and I am using today dog food because we have dogs. But if you don't have dog food, that's okay. If you have some beans, just put some beans in a Ziploc bag. It doesn't have to be a Ziploc bag if you don't have any Ziploc bags. It can go in the bottom of like a bread bag if you have a bread bag. Oh, yeah. It can go in the bottom of a bag, like you get those bags of grapes. You can always put something that's kind of heavy. So I'm using dog food, and this is all you do. This is why this is so much fun. You can get a Ziploc bag, and you take a little cup, and you put one cup and two cups. Now, if I think, as I'm working out, if I think to myself, wow, this is pretty heavy, I just unzip my bag, 
take a little out and put it in and zip it back up. If I'm working out and I think, wow, this is pretty light, I add more. So I go back in <laughs> and I add more, okay? So the nice thing about working out with something like this as a weight is you control the whole thing. You make it either heavy or light, it's up to you, okay? And you don't have to have a Ziploc bag. But something nice also about these bags are, and like I said, it can be a bread bag. It can even be a grocery store bag. You can just go right down to the corner, Wait. put it in the corner, and then tie a little knot on it. But a nice thing is that it fits comfortably into your hand. So if you have a hard time holding on to things, this just blends quite nicely with your hand. Okay? So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, are you ready? Then away we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna get all warmed up. We're gonna use a lot of body parts today, which oh. is fantastic, right? Okay. It is. Okay, so we're gonna begin just by taking a breath in. We're gonna drop our hands down by our sides and bring them up halfway, breathing in through the nose. Exhale and just float down. Ah, take a great big breath in, bring them up a little higher. And exhale, ah, so we're warming up our shoulders. We're gonna do it one more time. We breathe in and we lengthen right up to the sky. And we exhale, ah. Now we're going to breathe in up to the sky and as we exhale, only one hand comes down. Ah, breathe in and stretch right up to the sky, working that shoulder. Exhale slowly, the other hand floats down. Great job. Inhale, both hands come up. Exhale, both hands come down. Ah. Now we're gonna pull the shoulders up. Breathe in, pull the shoulders up. Breathe out, ah. Breathe in, pull the shoulders up. Breathe out, ah. One more time, please. Breathe in, pull those shoulders up. Ah. Now, we're gonna lean forward and back and then sideways. We're gonna lean forward and push our arms back. And we're gonna lean back and bring our arms forward. So we're working on the muscles of the joint of the hips. We're leaning forward and just warming up those hips. There you go, one more time. There, that's nice. Now when we go side to side, we're gonna do seven different le le levels. We're gonna reach down with this hand and we're gonna stretch up with this hand. Make sure you don't fall off your chair. You're gonna stretch up a little more and down a little more. Wow, that's a great stretch. And slowly come back to center, please. Start with reaching down. Now when you reach your hand up, if you think you're gonna fall off your chair, just put your hand on the corner of the chair. So we're gonna reach down, and the other hand reaches up. And then we try to reach up a little higher because we've got it in us. This is a great stretch for the shoulder. Yes. And then slowly relax down. Let's do it one more time. Reach down, reach up, and lengthen. That feels so good. Yeah. And then slowly come back to center. Reach down, reach up, and lengthen. Wow, this feels great. And slowly come back to center. Now we're gonna go around in a circle with our bodies. So we're gonna put our hands right on our ribs. We're gonna come forward a little bit. Then we're gonna roll over to the oh, side yeah. and come back a little bit and over to the other side. I kinda like this exercise. I think these exercises are good when you first get up in the morning, just to get your arms going a little bit. That's a good and, idea. Yeah. I think that would be good. Okay, <laughs> let's go in the other direction. Now I'm okay. gonna roll towards Carol Ooh. and all back and towards me. That back? Towards you, towards Ooh. Carol, towards the back of the chair, towards me. There we go. And just do what's comfortable for yeah. you. We just have two more. Now, as a dancer, I'll bet you did this one a lot. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and come back to center. What other exercises did you do when you were a dancer? Oh, we had to isolate, uh, you know, your core and just go like this. Oh, let's do that one. All righty. So we're going to go. Our buttocks are just glued to the right. chair, but we're sliding we're our moving, ribs. Right. Moving your ribs. Wow. You'd be a good belly dancer. I got enough belly to do it, let me tell you. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of that. I was just thinking they have to do this, right? Na, 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 I believe na, na, you were na, na, na. a belly dancer, Mary. 
I Low actually was. Shit. I was. Yep. I was. Guilty. Yeah, okay. Okay. And relax. That was All great. Right. Okay. <laughs> so now we stretched up with our arms. We went side to side. Ooh. We went around in a circle. So wow. now we're going to do our legs. For this, we're going to sit all the way back in our chair. So we're going to sit all the way to the back of our chair. This feels oh, great. I love this. Yeah, we like sitting in the I back like of our the, chair. Yeah, I'm have the best. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, that's right. So we're going to extend one leg out, and as we do, we're going to feel this muscle tighten right up. Then we're going to curl the toe up towards our shoulder. And as you do, you're going to feel a nice stretch on the back yeah. of that whole leg. Can you feel that? Yeah. Good. Now we're going to use this muscle and see if we can pull the toe up higher. Whoa! And relax it down. That is one walloping exercise, I'll tell you. That is. Let's try it with the other foot. Shoulders are back and down. We're sitting nice and tall. All we do is extend the leg. We have good support under the thigh. Then we're going to curl the toe in towards the shoulder. And as you do, you're just going to feel the lengthening of the back of the knee and the back of the lower leg, your calf. Calf, you feel I it feel it. Moments in mm -hmm. the knee. There, now you're going to use the, this muscle right here, and as you tighten it up, you're going to pull that toe higher, pull the yes, belly in, it does. Ooh, belly, belly. and relax. That was excellent. Now we're going to extend the leg, and we're going to point away. And we're going to use this muscle and see if we can bring that whole leg up just a little higher and relax down. Excellent. Extend the leg, please. Point the toe. So as you point the toe, you're going to feel a nice stretch right here on the, the shin. Then we use this muscle to pull the leg up a little higher. Ah! And back mm. down. Always just do your best. Then we're going to do it one more time. We're going to flex the foot, but we're going to roll the toe in. And roll it in a little more. Pay attention to your body. If you're rolling it in right from the hip, you'll feel it a little bit all the way up to the hip. Good, and slowly roll the toe out. And as you push energy out through the heel and curl the toe in and roll it out, you're gonna feel that stretch all on the inner thigh. Mm -mm. And then relax back down. Okay. I would say that's enough of that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go of to course. the other leg. That's right. And we're gonna flex the foot, which means you bring the toe to the ceiling or closer to your shoulder. Then you're gonna roll it out. So think of pushing energy out through that heel, curling the toe up to the hip, feel that lengthen all along the back and with the toe rolled out you feel a nice stretch all on the inside of the leg then you roll the toe in pushing energy out through that heel you can really feel it all on the outside of the ankle the outside of the knee that was a heck of a stretch and then relax down please <laughs> now we'll walk our buttocks towards the front of the chair oh. so we really got that leg don't you think oh, yeah. mm -hmm. okay so now we're gonna get the belly in the back nice and easy just warming up hands on the thighs so when we lean forward we have the good support of our the weight of our upper body on our hands mm -hmm. Then we're gonna lean back, and so it's not too much strain on our stomach, we bring our arms forward. So this is an exercise that we're going to do as a warm-up because we're gonna be doing it with our Ziploc bags full of something heavy. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it could be dirt from outside. You could put dirt in your bag, you could put stones. Rice. Rice is a very good one, very good. Dried beans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A shoe. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's no, shoes. no shoes. Okay, last one. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's have a little water. And then oh, we're going to grab dry. our weights. Ah. Mm-hmm. So we have our weights in our bags. Remember, it doesn't have to be a Ziploc bag. It can be any kind of bag that you have. Okay. All right, so we're going to kind of hold it in the middle, but you're going to want to remember you don't want to squeeze your hands too tightly because that could elevate your blood pressure. So could my singing or telling jokes, so I'm not going to do that. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, so our hands are down by our sides. Okay. We're going to bend our elbows, keeping our elbows down. Our elbows are going to hug our ribs on the outside like oatmeal hugs our ribs on the inside. We're going to bring our hands all the way up to the shoulders. And this is going to help us a lot to pick up heavy things. Now, speaking of heavy things, I've got a question for you. Uh -oh. Do you think you, we can put two bags in one hand? 
I think I could. Okay, do you want to try that one? You don't have to do it, but if you want a little stronger workout, you can do this. We'll just do it four times. We're going to take one bag and put it with the other. Our posture is nice and tall. We relax our bags down, and we're only going to do this for four. Good job. And three. You've got it. And two. And last one, please. And one. Relax back down and switch to the other hand. And we're going to do four here. One of the reasons I like Carol is because sometimes when I'm teaching a class, I get so excited about my music, I lose my count. So I count on Carol. So that makes Carol, Carol the countess. The countess. <laughs> And relax back down. Now we're going to put one bag in each hand. We relax our hands by our shoulders. When we reach up, we want to open up those fingers because you see a little weight can go on each side. Our posture is nice and tall. If your palms face your ears, it's a little easier. If the palms face out, it's a little more difficult. So choose the one that's the best for you. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, stretch one arm right up to the sky and bring it right back down. So what we're doing is we're reaching to the sky. We're not snapping our elbows. We're just lengthening and reaching, and this feels terrific. We breathe in, and as we exhale, we reach right up to the sky. That's it. We're going to do two more sets, lengthening and reaching. Yep. And you'll know that each time we go up, we can reach a little higher. Have you found that? Yes. Yes, indeed, he do. Here's our last one. Now we're going to try both bags all the way up. Okay. There you go. And down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Aha. And relax. Two more times, if you please. You're doing a great job today. Last one now. Yay. And now we're going to relax. We're going to lean forward just a little bit. We're going to put two in one hand. We're going to place one hand on the thigh. We're going to pivot forward from the hinge on the hip so that our bags, our weights, are right by our calves. We're going to pull the elbow up along the ribs, bringing our weights right to our hip. Now you'll see that Carol is really bringing her arm up. So if you want to work out a little extra harder, follow Carol. Here we go. Calf and up. So our elbow goes to the sky. That's nice. Beautiful. Up and down. Pull that elbow up and float down to the floor. Elbow to sky, to the earth. Elbow to sky, to the earth. One more time and done. Okay. And just kind of roll your hand like that. Pushing yourself up. Could you feel that a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Now, a nice thing about working with two bags is flat back, lean forward, as if I were doing two, and you'll notice that Carol really brings her hand back. So follow Carol if you want more of a workout. If I'm saying to myself, I think this is too heavy, I would just oh. drop a bag. Okay. Now I have two more. One. And two more after this. Pull the Very elbow good. to the sky and let's do two more. Oh. Elbow to the sky and you are done. done. Now doing two and two is better than me telling you have four more, right? Right, right. right. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we are. Our buttocks are towards the edge of the chair. What we just did was a row, pulling our elbow up. And that's going to work the muscles on the upper back, and that's going to help you have good posture. Mm. So is this. This is called a reverse fly. So we have one in each hand. The flat back comes forward just a little bit. Now, if you want to come far forward more, that is okay, but make sure it's okay with your back. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, bring your arms wide and down. This is going to work the upper back, and as you bring your hands up and wide, can you feel those shoulder blades like squeeze this. together? Yes. Like and this. why I like this one, want to know why I like this one, Carol? Yeah. I like it because if there's reincarnation and I come back as <laughs> an angel, I'm going to have like wings. wings. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, what are the chances of me coming back as an angel? Oh, you're okay for <laughs> Mary okay. is it really is an angel. <laughs> Although she acts like a devil. 
That's because I try to take after Carol. Oh! Last two. One and two. Wow, I could really feel that. Yeah, I like that one, though. I so it's a lot. really, really good one. So while Carol does four more, I can show you what you can do. Okay, we're going to lean forward. And what Carol's going to do, gonna do yep, she's going to do four more. Wow. One, two, three. Oh, you're switching. Four. Yeah, so you can do four like that, but if your back hurts, you can support your upper body oh. like I just did. Okay? So that gets your upper back, but still we want the middle of our shoulders. Because you know how it is? This is what I always think. When I pick up those heavy towels, like out of the washing machine, wash I have to go like this. Right. And that is a heck of a move. So this will help you, okay? So your hands are right by your knees. Your posture is nice and tall. And you're gonna pull your elbows up and back and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Doesn't that feel great? I love this one. And what I like is I don't have a heavy towel. <laughs> So we draw our that elbows up and back. So yeah, yeah, and we open That's up nice. our chest and open up our heart to greet the day. Good. There we go. That's it. Wow, I just love that one. Pull the elbows up and back. Our posture is nice and tall, and we feel fabulous. Your body and your brain love to exercise. They don't like the idea of it, but once it's done, you're glad you did it, right? Yeah, because I feel nice and loose now. You know, yes. Everything feels like it can move much better. And it can. And oh. last one, please, and relax. Okay. That's a lot of work on those shoulders. It did is. you feel that? I feel it. So we're going to relax our bags right on our legs. And we're going to relax our shoulders and our hands because they've been wrapped. Whoa, mine are slide. slippery. They're going to All right, slide. I'll put my feet together and put them right there. There we go. Okay. So we're going to pull the fingers back a little bit and try to push the heel of the hand forward while our fingers go back. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. So that's a nice stretch. And you'll notice that Carol is a dancer because look at those hands going back. Woo-wee. And slowly switch, please. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. And you'll notice between Carol and I, we're different just like you're different from us. Some people are very flexible and some people are more flexible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's open those fingers as wide as they'll go. And we'll make almost a fist. This is called a cat claw. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make a fist and squeeze it tight and open. Yay. Let's shake our hands out. Okay, we're gonna slide our weights right at the ends of our knees. Okay. So here's another trick too. If your weights are towards the end of your knees and maybe your hip flexor hurts, maybe your back hurts, all you have to do is slide the weights back and you'll make it a lot easier, okay? So you choose how hard or more difficult you'd like to work. So here we go, our buttocks are towards the edge of the chair. First of all, we're gonna lean back as we lift one knee. So we're gonna lean back. And this feels good because we're kind of in a rocking motion. Every time I do this, I wanna go, rock my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Yes, but of course I promise not to sing. That's okay. We'll okay. forgive you this time. Thank you, thank you. You know, I'm surprised that Hollywood hasn't asked me for a recording contract. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love Carol. <laughs> I'm honest. What she can is. I tell you? Doggone it. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to try to not lean back and lift a leg up. Does that feel a little different? Yes, much. <laughs> yes, much different. So if you want to lean back and do, do it, it's a little easier. So you go right ahead and do that. If you want to work out a little harder, then you can sit nice and tall. So the beauty about exercising is that there is always an easier way to do it and a more difficult way to do it. As a matter of fact, you want to know what? You know how sometimes you'll get those coffee mugs and they have sayings on them? Uh huh. I bought one and it said, exercise? I thought you said extra fries. Oh, <laughs> where did you find that? That mm -hmm. is cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then relax. So you could really feel it right here in the thighs, right? Right here. Yeah. So now we're going to go up and over. We're going to step oh, over and in. Good. 
up and up over. And over. So our thighs are already tired and we're asking them to do something more. They're working a little harder because they have to lift up. Lift That's up. That's right. But now we're reaching out, working on the range of motion of the hip. And this is a really good exercise to do because if you go to the theater, you have to step laterally behind the chairs. Getting in and out of a car, you always have to step it's, up oh, and out. That's true too, yeah. yeah. So this is a functional exercise, and what we're doing is putting the fun in functional. <laughs> okay, last one here. Wow, now we want to stretch out those legs. That was really good. Okay. You feeling pretty comfortable? Yes. Okay, so we'll drop those down, shake our hands out, give our hands a nice little circle and reverse the circle. Good job. Now that leg really worked hard, so let's extend it out. Mm. Breathe in and lengthen the spine. Exhale, the flat back comes forward. Good. So you'll notice with Carol and I, she's a little more flexible. I'm a little not so flexible, but that's the way everybody is. So depending on you, you might be a little more flexible, a little less flexible. As long as you're moving and exercising, you feel so good. Now you take the heel of the hand on the thigh, push down and bring your hand forward, and all the way up, all the way up. Now this time when it gets up, if it's comfortable for you, holding onto this leg, lift your eyes and gaze at the hand as it comes all the way back and floats down. There you go. Now we're gonna switch legs. So the other leg is extended. We breathe in and lengthen the spine, hand on the thigh for support, and slowly come down. We come down slowly because we're working the back, and we have to be careful with the back. We go slowly, slowly. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, slide down a little bit more. There you go, there you go. Push the heel of the hand into the thigh, reach forward, and all the way up. All the way up, look and gaze as the hand comes back and slowly floats down. Excellent, great job. Let's get a little bit of rotation, turning to one side, holding on to the chair, holding on to your leg, lift the spine long, turn and look behind you, and slowly come back to center, sweep the hands over, Holding on to the thigh in the back of the chair. Long, beautiful spine before you rotate and turn the head. Beautiful, beautiful. Slowly come back to center. Pull the shoulders up, back and down. We take a great oh. big breath in. Breathing in good and happy thoughts. As we exhale, shake out our tension. Cares and woes. <laughs> Get them out of there. Cares and woes. Get oh. them out of there. You know what we could do? We could put them on the bottoms of our chairs. That's right. And then if we miss them, we can come back and get them. I don't think I'll miss them. <laughs> okay. Now we have so much goodness inside of us. We're going to take all the extra goodness and share it with the world. Great big breath in. And as you exhale, know that all, all will, will be well. well. Yay! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Let's have a little walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.